Camille David was a farmer down by Roseland and he came to uh, Camrose in about 1908. He was from Montreal originally, so he already was familiar with a built-up city and theaters and he was fairly well-to-do and he wanted to bring culture into this uh, little town in the middle of the prairies. And so he built the Camrose Opera House and opened the theater in 1911 with a vaudeville act and a short movie on Buffalo Bill. The original theater was basically just this auditorium and a stage and two dressing rooms underneath. Over the years, um, Camille David brought in all kinds of entertainment and speakers, politicians. It became the gathering place for Camrosians. Camille David sold the building to Stan Bailey in 1919 and almost immediately Stan hired an architect and it was a classic opera house on Main Street for probably about 20 years. It was converted to a Art Deco uh, kind of facade in the 30s and what you see now is a restoration of that facade. When Stan Bailey was operating the theatre through the 30s, the dirty 30s, the depression, people didn't have very much money to come to movies. Stan Bailey had put a bounty on crows and gophers. He wanted to get rid of them, so he put a bounty on them and said, if you bring me in a pair of crow's feet, you'll get admission to a movie. Well, the kids went crazy, and they brought in crow's feet by the pile. After the Saturday matinee, the secretary was really in a hurry to get rid of the gopher tails and um, crow's feet, and she would throw them in the garbage in the back. So the kids would go into the garbage in the back and get next week's crow's feet to bring in and get into the, the movie. Mr. Bailey, I think, realized what was going on and uh, put a stop to that. When the Bailey uh, finally closed its doors in around 1998, the Bailey Theatre Society uh, was formed out of a nucleus of people who wanted a place to do live theatre. And so they um, made an offer of a dollar and bought the theatre from Landmark Cinemas and immediately came into the theatre and started renovating. Tearing things apart, pulling down uh, layers of old lath and plaster and underneath they found a lot of old uh, lobby cards and posters uh, from events during the 20s and 30s. The uh, renovation of the theatre originally started as part of the Main Street program and that was set up by Alberta Culture to restore storefronts to their original condition. The Bailey was always envisioned as part of that storefront uh, restoration program. At that time uh, there was a, a bit of renovation going on because that the volunteer group had started up with and unfortunately their ideas exceeded their uh, pocketbook and work had to stop. And in 2001 the pigeons moved in and until we were able to uh, sort of resurrect the board and the society and get everything going again, it was about 2007 when that happened. When they got into the two dressing rooms under the stage, they discovered one wall in particular had a lot of writing on it. And on this single piece of thin wallpaper, they found drawings and sayings and signatures and uh, graffiti from back in the teens and the 20s. Old stuff is pure gold. You cannot build old. You can build replicas of old, but they don't have the soul of an old building. I have this belief that buildings like this absorb energy from the people that use it. And so if you take the music home in your feet, you're leaving some of your joy in the building. And everyone who has done that for generation after generation has created an atmosphere within the Bailey that is unmatchable. You cannot rebuild it. If it's gone, it's gone. And it's gone forever. The arts are so important to raise us up from the dirt, if you will, and help us think about life in a different way. And this is the kind of place you need for that to happen.